Hello and welcome. In this tutorial, we will see how to migrate users from WinChill directory server to OpenDJ after WinChill upgrade. A quick note before starting the demo. The upcoming demo for migration to OpenDJ Community Edition has been verified by PTC. It is provided as a reference example of a migration process and will not apply to other v3 compliant directory servers because Winchill DS was powered by OpenDJ and do not need any DN change during migration process. So the first step will be to install OpenDJ Community Edition from the internet. Then we will be preparing the LDF file. So in this uh, step, we will be creating the same base DN in OpenDJ as a source that is from the Winchill directory server. Then we will export LDF file from the source Winchill directory server. Then we will replace object class PTC subtree with object class organizational role. After that, we will import the LDF file to OpenDJ Community Edition. And lastly, we will update the connection information in Winchill configuration files to point to the migrated LDAP directory that is OpenDJ. Stop Winchill and HTTP server. Open Winchill DS control panel, then click on manage entries, delete the configuration branch as configuration branch has been moved to new location that is in the JSON file. Export LDIF by clicking on the export LDIF option. Provide the location where you want to save the file. Now, stop Winchill DS from the control panel. Open exported LDIP file from text editor. Replace object class PTC subtree with object class organizational role. Once done, save the file. Open control panel of OpenDJ. Here, enter administrative port number, bind DN, and password that you have mentioned during the initial installation of OpenDJ. Click on the import LDIF option and select the previous modified LDAP file. After clicking OK button, you will receive error no backend selected. This error is observed because currently there is no backend available. Hence, we have to create new backend and new base DN from the OpenDJ control panel. Click on the new base DN option. Type user root as a new backend value. For base DN, type O equals PTC and click OK. Click on yes. Now, LDIF has been imported successfully into OpenDJ. From the Manage Entries button, you can verify the list of users. Navigate to the Winchill ieCon folder. This is a new location for all the information that was saved in the configuration branch. 
Adapter service.json file is one of a file which holds adapter information. Here we have to modify the file such that it now points to the OpenDJ. Update the details of OpenDJ information for both of the adapters ending with Enterprise LDAP and LDAP. In this demo, WinchillDS and OpenDJ are on same hostname, so we need to change port number only. Once done, save the file and exit. Navigate to the 30 app winchillauth.conf file. Update the details of OpenDJ information for both of the adapters. Now navigate to the site.xcon file. Here update the map credentials.admin.adapters property. Update it with the details of OpenDJ. In this case, we need to update port number only. Save the file once done. Now navigate to the Apache Winchell authprovider.conf file and similarly update the details of OpenDJ information for both of the adapters. Once done, save and close the file. Open Winchell shell and type in xconf manager space dash p p for propagate. This command will propagate the properties to the windchill configuration files. Now navigate to the HTTP server home directory. And type in the command and space dash f space web app config dot xml space region all web apps after that hit enter this command will propagate the properties to the all apache configuration files start http server and pencil Once Winchell is up and running, access Winchell from browser and create one demo user. From the Open DJ control panel, verify if demo user is present. This concludes the tutorial. Thank you for watching.